Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a little Ford J car. This would have been a 1968 release in the Sweet 16 collection. This one's white. I have another one that's white as well. They would have had these kind of ugly yellow stickers on them. However, I do think that this was repainted at some point. So you can see by this wheel. For the most part, they Spectra Flame these cars. And they weren't a very high dollar car as you can see. $90 in original nice condition. Now this yellow just looks terrible so I think we are going to do a Spectra Flame today. I'm not sure what color we're going to do. I'm going to see what's available. This is a book I'm looking in. I wouldn't take the prices too seriously. They're just kind of guesstimates but it's cool to have if you're you know garage sailing or something. Anyways on to this little J car. I would like to strip this down and get it going. I'm working on a 1 18th scale masterpiece for you guys. So I just thought I'd do maybe one of these red lines. In the meantime. You can see the bottom of this does have a factory white paint job on here. So I don't know. I think someone tried to do a little bit of a restoration on this at one point. Just gave it another coat of white and it just really yellowed up really bad. Does not look good at all. It's like a little time capsule, just a perfectly mint clean interior. It's very cool. This glass also looked very nice. If we can sneak this out of here. It's got a little bit of paint on one window, but there we go. A little teeny bit of paint there. No big deal. That's going to be just perfect. We are going to be painting this base to match the top, so I think that might be one of the first times that we've done it on this channel. So it should be pretty cool. Okay, so this is all ready to go. This is ready to go. I think this engine is painted like an aluminum color, so I'm going to have to strip in there as well. So we'll just do it. This hopefully doesn't take too long. It should be real quick, actually. Woo. This is going to look a lot better in a nice Spectra Flame. I'm thinking we're going to do purple. Purple always seems to be a favorite with you guys and the Spectra Flame. Everything I do in purple, you guys are like, hell yeah. But if I do a pink, you guys are like, what, what's your problem, man? So it's a <laughs> fine line. This is going to take a little while, so I'm just going to come back with a clean car in 3, 2, 1. There we go. That's a lot better. We can see all the little details on this casting now. now. We clearly have some pretty dirty casting marks on the side here. I'm going to clean all this up. Ooh, I got a big daddy file this time. I've been using the same piece of Scotch-Brite for like a month really gives you an idea how long this stuff is good for. You buy one little pack of scotch Brite and it's just good forever. And I think I'm going to use some Metal Glow on this car. We'll get this looking good. I got a brand new wheel on there. All right, got our little J car looking fresh. We're just getting ready to do some paint now. Just nice and polished up. What I did is I put a screw in that's too long. That way I have something to clamp onto and I can do the base and the top of the car at the same time. If I did them separately, I run the risk of this part of the base not matching the top part of the car. So I get to do them both at the same time. I just wanted to point out something quick on these J cars. There's an early version and then there's a more recent version. The earliest versions had little hood louvers on either sides here in the back. So you can see mine doesn't have those. So mine is not considered as rare. 
If you had a white one that had hood louvers on it right here, that would be considered a hidden hinge mechanism J car and it would be considered a rare car. Since mine are removed in the white enamel, that is just a, a common car. So I have no problem changing this over from white to, you know, like a nice Spectra flame color because this, this car is probably one of the lowest value for J cars you can get. So just to make it a little bit more desirable for me on the shelf, I'd like to have some color on there. So for that, I think we are going to do the purple because purple looks great on everything, especially on these nice zinc plated cars. So with that being said, check your cars at home. If you have hood louvers, good for you. Your car's worth more money than mine. Half have. Let's go painting. Okay, everything is looking pretty good here. I was able to polish that paint out of our windshield, so that is perfect. Body looking nice. Interior, we're just gonna put our axles back on the car. This thing's gonna be sweet. Nice clean red line. Sometimes these models had stickers on them. I don't know if they all did. I think the enamel ones did for sure, for sure. Come on, baby. Why you gotta do me like that? Throw on some fresh wheelies. It'd be nice to get one of these up on the road again. These came in with those hot heaps I ordered, so yeah, it's been about a about a year now since I bought these. It'll be nice to have one back on the shelf for sure. Pimp. All right, let's put this thing together. It's gonna be so much nicer than your regular white enamel for sure. Beautiful. Looks really good. A couple spots back here. We could do a little bit of details. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hell yeah, this thing turned out sweet. Back it up, wheel. So I have a bunch more of these, uh, and I'm curious if you guys wanted to see more of these J cars, what colors would you do them? Or would you have stuck with the basic white? Personally, I like the Spectra Flame more than the white, but I'm curious to hear your guys' opinions. Overall, that is one nice and clean red line. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Let me know what kind of colors you'd like to see on other Ford J cars. And I'll make sure it happens. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.